All right. I hope my internet connection maintains a, a stable connection here while we power through. Uh, it's funny. My internet at home has been so inconsistent. It hasn't ever been this inconsistent. So anyway, here are some of the latest developments that we have from our lender. Um, there's two big things that are finished. So, I mean, basically their system is finished. They're running through, running through the testing applications and literally like, just to give you guys some scale of this, it's a little mind boggling how, how Congress actually expected this to go down. So the SBA at the close of 2019, their total portfolio of loans this is the total that they held, right? That, that they held from accumulating all the way up over the years, they held about $150 billion in loans. That's the total that they've ever, you know, that's still on their books. They've been asked in two weeks to approve $350 billion. In loans. So the magnitude of this, none of us can really comprehend it, I don't think. Um, think about your business, right? <clears throat> if you're in a, um, you know, a retail store and you typically have 100 customers come through a day in and out buying stuff, right? You've got 100 purchases a day, I'm just using it as a number. You end up with about 6,000 customers or people in and out of your stores in a quarter in over three months, that's basically, they're saying you're going to have to do all the volume of business you did in that quarter in, you know, one or two weeks. So, I mean, kind of squish it down to one day, right, because everyone gets their applications in one day. So anyway, why I'm overemphasizing this is because the, the lender has built out all their software and their checks and balances, and they push through a mass chunk, not, not that big, but a chunk of applications at once and it crashed one of their pieces, so they're fixing it, um, and they're basically, you know, doing that before they open it up to where they expect to be processing um, 500 applications a day. So, um, so and, and their process is going to be directly linked all through DocuSign um, to the SBA. So basically, you'll hit the application, a couple hours later, you get your SBA number, and they're now, what they're saying is 72 hours later, you'll see the money hit your bank. And so that's what the process will look like. So what I sent out yesterday was a checklist of the documents that are going to be needed. And that checklist is for, um, for business entities, not the sole proprietor or 1099 independent contractor applications. Those are going to have some separate documentation requirements. The business entity requirements are going to be what I sent out in that email. So you're going to be looking for your 940, um, I get the numbers mixed up because so I'm not a bookkeeper, but it's the 940, which I think is the 2019 payroll tax return, and then the 941, I think, is your first quarter return for this year, for January, February, March 2020. Uh, I might have the 941 and 940 backwards, so it's one or the other, but you need your 940 and your 941 for 2019 and first quarter of 2020. You're going to need your, I, I recommend getting your just straight up payroll register. You should have a report that says here are the employees and here's how much they've been paid and here's the categories of their, you know, taxes and state and FICA and blah, 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 all, and benefits you pay all stuff for that time period. You're going to want to do 2019 and 2020. Um, you're going to need your, a copy of your driver's license and the copy of any driver's license of the other owners of your business, um, and um, and then the application, which you'll actually e-sign, you'll fill it out and e-sign it, or they'll fill it out for you, but you'll e-sign that. So you need to have um, that uh, 24, 2483, and you're going to be looking for the one that has the expiration date of September 30, 2020. That one is the, um, I think that's the third version, and so it's really similar, but you want to just make sure you have all those data points ready so that you can drop them in uh, right when necessary. Um, 
Now, the uh, so anyway, so the system is up and um, <clears throat> looks like we're going to be able to push a a small set of applications out on Friday, but they're going to then revamp it, retool it over the weekend and Monday. They're saying Monday it's for sure going to be ready uh, for for mass hysteria basically. So just get ready for Monday. Um, and where I'm, I mean, I'm personally in the same process for my business. So, um, you know, I mean, we're, we're just kind of with you guys here. And, but anyway, what, what they're really lining up is a very clean application, which, you know, isn't all that hard, I guess, but they're lining it up in this way so that when we, as a group, go later, eight weeks down the road to get this forgiven, that that happens like a snap. Um, about you, but I don't really want this money as a loan. If, if it's going to end up where the forgiveness process is a big, giant mess and can't get done, I don't really, I don't really want this. I'll just, you know, keep bootstrapping it and keep doing what I need to do to uh, keep my business going through, you know, sales, right? But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I don't want this money as a loan. So they're being very diligent and intentional. They're building the whole process out with that in mind so that when it comes eight weeks, we just, you know, it's going to be um, as easy as possible and as fast as possible to get that forgiven. Um, so that's really the, the biggest update that I have for you guys, just looking at my notes. Um, and then the one other thing that I'm really happy to see is that the latest news from the Hill is that um, uh, it looks like both parties are in agreement that they're going to vote on legislation to increase the funding to this by another $250 billion. Um, so, you know, the, the amount of funding here, I think, you know, it's going to be fine. Not worried about it for myself, not worried about it for you guys. Um, this is just going to be part of the, part of the thing that I think, I, I think at a federal level, they're just going to, I wouldn't be surprised if they even go in third round on that um, to provide funding here, um, just with the way things are. So that's the latest update. I am, I, I'm still digging in with my staff. I encourage all of you guys to dig in with your staff and make sure you're over communicating what's happening, what's going on, that you're leading the charge on this, that you are walking through to make sure you guys come out of this on the other side. You don't, I'm not giving promises I can't fulfill. I'm not you know, making, uh, I'm not being reckless with my statements, I'm not saying I promise you'll have a job forever, can't do that, never could do that, even in a good economy. I'm making sure they know I'm doing everything I possibly can to grow our business and to keep things happening. Um, and so just, you know, I, I encourage all of you guys, over communicate that message to your staff. Um, if you've had to furlough people, over communicate to them still. If they were good employees and you want to get them back, communicate with them even while they're furloughed, while they're scared, while they're worried that you're doing everything you possibly can to get the business back up and running. Um, they, they're going to be scrambling and looking for jobs and if they end up getting, if they're a great employee and they end up getting sucked up by some other company who's got the capacity um, and you lose them, that's hard to replace. So make sure you continue to communicate with them and let you know, let them know you're doing all you can. All right, that's it. This was a quick update. Um, it looks like Friday, a small set, and then Monday, the big tidal wave will be opened. Um, so look for an email. I will be very, very clear, vocal. I won't hide it. It will be just a, a big, bold, you know, start now kind of email, and you will just be able to go click fill out the form, click, fill out something, click, and you're just going to do it all right from the comfort of your own home. Uh, there will be loan processors. So one of the great things about this is there's going to be people who are literally on standby waiting for this tidal wave, waiting for people who are submitting their applications. If you have questions, you'll be able to call a phone number, talk to a real human being, and you'll be able to, or you'll be able to just chat. They'll have a chat box if you want to do that. You can do that. Um, they're they're going to be open. The the operators, the loan processors. My understanding is from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. So you know, five to five 
uh, Arizona time. Um, that's it. So just uh, I'll, if I learn something new today or tomorrow, uh, I'll let you know Friday for the small subset of applications we, we're, we're going to be allowed to process, you'll hear, and then Monday the big wave will come. So that's all I got. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us, sbarelief at keystonelawfirm.com. We'll get your questions answered. Um, otherwise, go out there, make it happen, take care of your people.